Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mal Madiba and in this dope channel, we're all about art, creativity and life. Today's video shows my first piece from my first solo exhibition titled The 13th Letter Manifestation of Self. If you haven't already watched my previous video talking about that, click on the link above. It gives a very good explanation of the overall themes of my first solo exhibition. I also quickly want to apologize for the quality of this video. Um, I didn't know how to use this particular camera that I borrowed from my friend Edwin and um, yeah, it, his, that camera is not for videos so I struggled quite a bit but towards the end it gets crystal clear so stay tuned. Getting right into this video, this is a 5 by 820 by 20 millimeter block of laminated Jelutong wood. And for you Americans out there, it's roughly 23.4 inches by 32.2 inches by um, 0 0.7 inches. I had a photo shoot and took pictures in poses I felt necessary or fitting for my idea for this exhibition and particularly this piece. Um, thereafter, I used a projector to trace my image a bit and fill in the details in pencil and my Weller soldering iron tool. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can also buy it at Builders Warehouse. Photography can strain your eyes and the smoke can affect you a little so always make sure that you're wearing goggles and a mask. At this point I was experimenting on how to create more textures on the wood and I used a separate plank to play and then implemented my decision on my main piece. I had never used a drill in this way before so I definitely was learning a lot. Yay! Back to regular quality. Okay, so there's a lot of missing content, but I got a perfect circle um, by placing a big plate on my canvas and tracing that. And then um, I, I burnt straight vertical lines over my circle texture that I created with my drill to get that really cool bamboo effect. At this point, I was sanding down the edges of my canvas so I could continue the texture throughout. I think this gives a bit of view of what exactly I did on the front of the piece. Oh 
<laughs> I always balance my soldering iron with my pinky. It gives me a lot more control. So I tried something new with a blue metallic paste. It was a good idea in my head, but it didn't quite turn out the way I thought it would execute. So I had to scratch it off and it wasn't easy. When I was done scratching that off, I burnt the edges again and signed my mustard piece. I used my Torcraft power tool to do my signature. I still kept some of the blue paste on just to give it like a little bit of a glow from afar. I finished off by sealing off my work with an acrylic gel wash. Um, this kind of just protects my art a bit and I hope you learned something today and thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. This piece is actually still available and you can get it from Amberloft Studios. Please email me for more details. <laughs>